All right, today I'm going to show you how to use a Siemens dishwasher. But before we get started, could you give me a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel? I'll appreciate it tremendously. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to show you how to use a Siemens, a Siemens dishwasher. Now, right in front of me, I have a Siemens dishwasher that I use to wash my dishes. All right, so right here, it's a nice and fancy, pretty clean on the inside. And I'm going to go over all of the controls right here. I'm going to show you how I load the Siemens dishwasher as well as how to add softening, water softening salt to the Siemens dishwasher. I'm going to show you how to clean the filter and go over the programs as well as how to put detergent and rinse aid in this Siemens dishwasher. So let's get started. So. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and open up the Siemens dishwasher, and inside you'll see a whole bunch of things going on. Currently, I don't have dishes in here because I want to show you uh, what it looks like inside and give you a clean view of it. But this Siemens dishwasher comes with two racks right down here and then a bunch of interior racks that goes along with it. Now, with this Siemens dishwasher, it has propellers or springers at the bottom, one above the... Uh, second uh, uh, shelf or rack in here, and there's one actually in the top. Now, with this Siemens dishwasher, you load your dishes in here. I generally put my plates down in here, and glasses I generally keep up here. Now, it comes with racks right here where you can put cutlery in here. Uh, the wine glasses go inside of right here, and I use plates and perhaps pots down on the bottom shelf right here. Now there's a rack right here for utensils such as knives, forks, and spoons that I put in here. Now, inside of right here, you have propellers down here. You have your filter. See your filter right here? I'm gonna show you about that. And this is where you add water softening salt. Now this is a particular type of salt. This is not table salt that you add here. You add water softening salt in here if you have hard water in your household or wherever you have this dishwasher in. You put the salt in there and then you shut it. As you can see right here, it says salt right here. That's where salt is added. Now, this is a sprayer. It pops off, you know, you pop off for cleaning occasionally, but reminder, put it back in, it snaps back in place. Uh, the same thing with the upper sprayer as well. Now, the racks come out. If you need to, you can pick this up. Now, with this inside of here, you have a filter. This right here is the filter for the dishwasher. The water goes down here and it filters out any debris that is left over with this first mesh. Now, occasionally you'll have to clean out this filter. You just pick up all the debris that's on the surface right here, but then you have to pull the filter out. You see, I'll just spin this, I spun this up right here. The arrows are not lined up. See, they're lined up, that means it's secure. I go ahead and turn it that way, and I'm able to pick this out. Now, inside right here is the actual uh, uh, filter right here. This right here will collect debris. Now, this actually, you can detach this uh, right here for cleaning. And so what I do is I just regularly, like over time, it gets clogged. And so I pull this out, and I take an old toothbrush, and I gently, with some soap, brush this inside of a sink inside of a sink, I brush this, the brush off the debris, and it, you know, gets all the debris off of it. And uh, Now, there may be some lime scale that builds up on this, and what I've done is just take a little bit of uh, vinegar, uh, white vinegar, on a toothbrush, and scrub it around here, and let it sit for a few minutes, and it dissolves the lime scale. I rinse this all, it's important that you rinse all the soap and any vinegar off of this, and then I go ahead, and then I put it back inside of this right here, the filter back in, right here, and then make sure it's in there, and then I spin it so it locks into place, and it won't come up, and it's securely in place, all right? So that's a filter, all right? So then I'm gonna go ahead and shut all of this, close this up, see for instance, I have the dishes all in there. Now I'm gonna go in on how to add rinse aid and detergent to this Siemens dishwasher. All right, so when it comes to rinse aid, this is rinse aid, and you add rinse aid to the uh, dishwasher because it allows the dishwasher to dry the dishes properly. Now, if you're stuck with some wet dishes after using your dishwasher, it's probably 
because you don't have rinse aid added to it, or you may have just run out of rinse aid in your dishwasher. So you're gonna do, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this, this right here is rinse aid, this is classic rinse aid right here. And what you do is you come down here, you pop open on the drawer, like see, this is the door, this is where the detergent goes. I'm gonna show you how to put detergent in here. But the rinse aid is in this compartment right here. So what you do is you flip this back, and then you add rinse aid inside of the compartment like this, all right? There's an indicator to it right next to it. This shows you if it's full, so you just pour the rinse aid in here. You make sure you have enough rinse aid in here in order to wash your dishes properly. So I'm just filling this up with the rinse aid. It was pretty low, so I'm just gonna add some in there, all right? So, and there's an indicator, a window right there that shows you how, if it's full or not, just gonna put a little bit more in here. Put a little bit more rinse aid in there like that. It was quite empty right there. So I'm filling this up. All right, so it's filled up. And once it's filled up, I'm just gonna take this door right here and shut it, snap into place, and that's the rinse aid. The next thing I'm gonna do is add detergent. Now detergent, oh, if there's any spillage of rinse aid just take a paper towel and just uh, wipe it up okay easy like that easy lemon peasy squeeze. i think i don't know the saying the next but thing i'm going to show you is how to add detergent okay so right here is the detergent uh uh area where you add detergent you can add either powder or liquid detergent in here okay and it has different levels of it so say for you have a small load you may not want to put in as much detergent as you would a larger load, save you a little bit of money, save, you know. So you have this detergent uh, compartment right here with a door. Now you can add liquid detergent, you can add powder detergent, but I choose to use the pods. Right here, I have a pod. Now this is a finish, not as in Finland, but a finish pod. This is a brand right here. Uh, this is the Quantum, I believe, uh, finish pod that goes inside of here. Now the Finish is recommended by Siemens, as you can see right here, it says finish right here. But I use Cascade uh, Platinum on here, you know, occasionally. But I have a finished pod right here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this finish, not as in Finland, and go ahead and place the pod within the detergent compartment right here, and then I'm going to shut the door just like that. Did you see that? It shut and it snapped closed. Now say for instance, I added detergent and maybe perhaps I needed to add more liquid or powder detergent and I need to get inside of this compartment or basically I don't want to wash dishes right now and I just want to remove the pod. Now what I will do is I'll come up here, press this button, it snaps open like that and I can either add detergent or remove the pod, but in this case I want to wash my dishes. So I'm going to go ahead and shut the drawer and then all the dishes are loaded and I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut the door, but before I shut it completely, I just want to uh, close it like halfway so I can see the controls right here. Now you see all of the controls right here, and I'm going to go through them. So once I've added the dishes, added the detergent, have rinse aid in there, I'm going to go ahead and press the power button. All right, I press the power button, you see it lights up. Come on, light the, all right, here it is. So once you light up, it shows you right here, and immediately the default setting for this is economy. For those that are trying to save the planet, it should be not eco, but I don't know, save the planet. I think that sounds better. But is it eco, eco for economy or, yeah, it saves energy, saves uh, power, saves water. That's eco, that's a native setting. And in C right here, it says three hours and 30 minutes. Now it uses the least amount of power in the eco setting right here, which saves money and is less has less of effect on the environment. All right, so that's eco. All right, so we're gonna go over the selections, then I'm gonna show you how to start it, okay? So we, we just went over eco. Now you right here you have this right here, it says has a 70 down here. Now this button right here, this right here shows that this is the intensive wash. Now this uses the most amount of, uh, uses the most amount of energy and water for the control settings right here. This is intensive, it gets on hard uh, 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 debris that is stuck on your, your pots and pans. If you have hard debris that's stuck on your pots and pans, 
or a lot of stuff inside of your dishwasher, you may want to use this because this actually uses intense washing on your dishes. Now you want to be careful if you have anything fragile in there. I wouldn't put grandmama's ch fine china in there on the intensive wash. I'd go with some of the lesser intensive settings, which I'll go over. All right, so you have that, and you see right here, the times change. Right here, it'll take about two hours and 15 minutes with this intensive setting. There's another setting. There is an auto setting right here, and it says from 45 degrees Celsius to 65 degrees Celsius right here. Uh, this right here, it is the auto feature. Now, it auto detects you know, when the dishes are clean, and the time will vary depending on how dirty your dishes are inside of the dishwasher. As you can see, it says two hours and 40 minutes right there. The actual time in auto can vary from this two hours and 40 minutes because of the uh, level of debris or how dirty your dishes really are. Now, we went over eco mode. Now, we're going to go over right here. This is the fragile mode right here. So if you have fragile dishes in here, like a Grandmama's Fine China, you may want to consider this fragile uh, button right here. And it takes it down to an hour and 30 minutes. That's how long you'll take with this fragile setting right here. The next thing we have, we have an express wash right here. This is the express wash. Now this will wash the dishes within one hour. Now with that said, because it is express, it rapidly cleans the dishes. However, it may leave your dishes not as sparkling clean as some of these other options, such as intensive or the auto feature right here. All right, now there is the express feature right here, and then there is this right here. Now, this is a quick wash. Now, it's kind of redundant. This is an hour wash, and this is just a quick wash that will take it in uh, 29 minutes, as it says right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I believe, I'm not exactly sure what this does right here, but it is a quick wash. I'm not sure if it's just a rinse option right here, but it does in 29 minutes. So it seems kind of redundant. I'll have to go back and revisit that. All right, so you have the controls right over here. I'm going to go back to Eco because I feel like saving the planet. Actually, I'm going to go to Auto because I feel like saving the planet. Next thing you're going to do is over here, you have more options. Right here, you have the delay feature. Okay, so you can delay your wash for up to 24 hours. You see I'm pressing this button. There's a plus and then there's a minus. Okay, so... Each time that I press this, this number will change. And this right here is representative of how many hours it will be delayed from finishing the wash, okay? So if I press the plus, you can see it goes up. Press the minus, it goes down in hours. So I'm just going to keep on pressing this until it gets to 24. You can delay the wash up to 24 hours, all right? That's a long time if you need to delay, if you, you know, and if you press it again, it goes back to zero, just the normal settings. So that's the delay wa delay finish feature right here. So it'll delay the wash by X amount of time. All right, we're going to move on right here. So this button right here, I'm not exactly sure uh, what that would have to revisit that one too. All right, so this right here is it actually adds more intensiveness to your wash right here. You see this button right here? It has a pot inside there. It adds more, it makes your wash more intensive, will get your dishes more thoroughly clean. All right, so you have that, and then you have this right here. Now this is the extra dry feature right here. So say for instance, you have rinse aid in your dishwasher and your dishes are not getting dry to your expectation, you can go ahead and press this right here and it will dry the dishes for longer. All right, now it'll take more energy using this, but it will get your dishes drier. All right, so you have that. Now, what you have, uh, all of the, you have all of these, and then you also have the machine care button right here. So this is the machine care. So what occasionally what will happen is in your dishwasher, you'll get an, a machine care indicator on this screen right here. And that means that you need to clean the inside of your dishwasher. 
uh, such as cleaning the filter, maybe it's debris, making sure that no debris inside the sprayers, whatnot. But then there's also, you may get lime scale buildup on the interior of the uh, dishwasher. And in that case, you may need to go out and buy some dishwasher cleaners specifically for uh, cleaning out dish, dish, dishwashers, add it either to the detergent uh, dispenser right here or some some of these uh, cleaners you just add to the bottom of the dishwasher. And once you do that, you make sure all of the dishes are empty out of side of the dishwasher, and then you press the machine care button. All right, you press it like that, and it will clean your dishes after pressing start. So with all of these features right here, once you've made your selections on any of these right here, make that, and say, for instance, you do that, you can't do the machine care with a normal wash. So you make your selection of what, how you want your dishes to be clean, and then once you do, do that, you have the dishes loaded, you have detergent in here, you come over here and you press start. And then once you press start, you shut the door of the dishwasher, and that's how you wash your dishes, and that's how you use a Siemens dishwasher. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe.